welcome back to stone falls ladies and gentlemen where we are going to be doing the main quest finally the finale of this whole ordeal so i decided to uh no uh i decided to travel directly to the harborage um for reasons uh just because i just felt like it because i didn't want to stay in cold harbor too too long Talk to the prophets. So we're gonna so we're in this for the long run, ladies and gentlemen. Actually, hold on. Before I do that, um, what's my inventory like? Okay, I could do some inventory management. Before I do that. Fight. Uh, Fight. What do you mean? Weird. You are definitely weird. Game. All right. It is good to see you again, and I do see you in my own way. You're a wound in time, a tear in reality that shouldn't exist and cannot long endure. Why do you speak in prophet riddles? Uh, riddles, prophet. Fate speaks in riddles. Your fate was written in the scrolls long ago. It is entwined with the fate of the five companions. I have finally located Lyris Titanborn in Cold Harbor. Is she safe? She works a terrible forge under the lash of the great deceiver, Molog Baal. Her soul is in great danger. You must go to her. I can manifest a gate to that dark realm, but you must go quickly. Open the gate, I'll rescue. I'll rescue Tread yours. carefully in Molog Baal's realm. You are important. The scrolls have so named you. What happened to Lyris after we escaped Cold Harbor? After Lyris took my place in the Wailing Prison so that we might escape, the Daedra moved her to the Foundry of Woe. It is a place of torment and despair. She toils endlessly making weapons for the enemy. And how do you know this? The God of Schemes invaded my mind many times during my imprisonment. It was a tortuous experience, but by forcing his way into my mind, he inadvertently opened his own thoughts to me, and thus created a chink in his own armor. What do you mean? We are connected, he and I. With concentration, I can see through his eyes. He feels my presence, and it fills him with rage. When you enter the foundry to recover Lyris, I can keep his attention focused on me. He will be blind to you for a time.
You're alive. Are you really here, or is this another trick? It's me. The Prophet sent me to find you. And he's still alive? Thank the gods. But you... You can't stay. You have to leave before they find you here. I'm not leaving without you. You don't understand. They've done something to me. I can't leave. What do you mean? It's hard to describe. My memories, my feelings, they've, they've been fragmented, ripped apart. And all the fragmented pieces have been locked away in different parts of the foundry. Then we'll retrieve them. I tried. The Daedra took everything. My willpower, my courage, my sense of self. I'm an empty shell. And the fragments are reflections of my worst fears and most painful memories. I, I can't. I, I don't think I can face them. We'll face them together. Come on. I'll do my best. Lead on. Be careful. These lost souls are barely aware of their humanity. They don't even beat them anymore. graves. My mother died in childbirth. My father was distant. Cold. I think he blamed me for my mother's death. I ran off to become a mercenary when I was 16. I never saw my father again. He was murdered by an old enemy. Father? Papa. Is that you? Why is this happening? Blade, you bastard! Die like the monster you are! Who are you? Why does Lyris walk with you? I'm here to help Lyris. Who are you? In life, I was Gyalda, father to Lyris. My spirit was torn from its rest and brought to this foul place. The Daedra forced me to experience my own murder again and again. I thought my torment would never end. They're using you to keep Lyris shackled into Cold Har to Cold Harbor. I don't understand. Lyris was always a free spirit. Why would my presence bind her here? She blames herself for your death. Lyris! Is this true, child? You were always so cold. So distant. My mother died giving me life. It was my fault. I should never have been born. Lyris, look at me. The blood of giants flows through my veins. Your mother was a Nord. I gave her my seed without thought for her safety. That's why she died. Not because of you, child. Because of me. I thought you blamed me. You... You couldn't even look at me, Papa. Do you not see? When I looked at you, I saw her face. I loved her, child, just as I love you, more than life itself. We cannot change the past, nor should we cling to it. You must not let these feelings haunt you. Let them go. Let me go. I love you too, Papa. Rest now. Be at peace. He's gone. Come on. Let's get out of here. This place is a labyrinth of hopelessness built to compound the misery of those who labor here. Did you get all the pieces? Yeah, I stashed them in the footlockers all around camp. 
commander makes her run 50 laps this time. Did you find something? I believe these, this armor belongs to you. I can't believe it. This armor is who I am. It's what I am. A warrior without her armor is like a bear without claws. Suit up, I'll wait. Excellent, I'm ready. What's your step? All the mining has made these tunnels unstable. Abner Thorn, you traitorous bastard. I should have expected to find you here. Don't be a fool, Titanborn. I'm trying to help you. Your hatred poisons you. Warriors are like steel. When you lose your temper, you lose your worth. Help me. You betrayed us all, then went back to licking Money Marco's boot before the smoke cleared. I did what I had to do. And as a show of my good intentions, I have a gift for you. But be warned, Cold Harbor will not give it up easily. Is that... Sure, Spones, it is. Vestige, that's my battle axe. Thirsty for Daedric blood, old friend. <sighs> My axe. Ah, oh, it feels good to have it back. It's part of me. Losing it was like losing an arm. Why would Tharn try to help you? I don't know. I don't trust him and I never will. But it's odd. The blind hatred I felt when I saw him. <laughs> I could have strangled him with my bare hands. But now... I think he was right. That hatred was poisoning me. How do you feel now? Better. Stronger. Almost whole again. <laughs> Isn't that strange? I feel powerful enough to take on Umaril the Unfeathered himself. I feel... like a warrior again. Alright, well, so what's next? We're not done yet. We need to keep moving forward. The passage is blocked by a rock slide. But now that I have my axe back, I might be able to break through it. Check it out. Stand back. No damn pile of pebbles is gonna stop me now. Cabbage. So many Daedric beasties, so little time. We need to keep moving. My god, these Daedra are like... I don't know. I don't know how to feel, feel, feel that they're that they're falling like flies. Maybe it's because I'm level 50. Who knows? Who knows?
you hear that? It sounded like... No. It couldn't be. Sai. What's happened to you? What have they done? Lyris. Lyris. I can see you. Are you really there? Sai. It's me. We're seeing some kind of vision of you. Do you know where you are? I... I don't know. They're torturing me. They want the Amulet of Kings. Want me to tell them where it's hidden. But I haven't broken. Not yet. Sai, you need to hold on. We're going to find you. I'll make sure of it. We'll find you. Somehow we'll get you out of there. Sai? Sai! No! Bring him back, you bastards! That was no trick. That was Sai Sahan. You're gonna be alright. Sai's a friend. Maybe my best friend. We need to find him and get him out of there. There must be a way to um, way out where they're keeping him. We need to tell the Prophet about this. He'll know what to do. But first, we need to find a way out of here. I don't care what else they throw at us. Nothing is going to keep me from helping Sai. Let's go. Like someone's in love. The doubt, the fear, the weakness. It's all coming back. I have to push through this. Let's go. Best I've felt in years. Like I've been reborn. And I owe it all to you. Thank you. Let's get out of here. We need to rescue Sai. Then we've got a world for Sai. Yes, Prophet, I'm fine. The Vestige freed my mind from the Daedra's control. Thank the Divines. Your loss would have thrown all into chaos. They won't take me again. Not alive, at least. Prophet, Menomarko captured Sai Sahan. He's torturing him to find out where the Amulet of Kings is hidden. We have to rescue him. You brought Lyris back, and largely intact from the look of her. She's been through a lot. And she will need time to recover. One does not leave such a place unscarred. We saw a projection of Abner Thorne. He tried to help Lyris. Did he? I thought he had firmly aligned himself with Minamarco and his worm cult. Curiouser and curiouser. What did he say? Did Sai tell you? Then we must locate him before Minamarco forces him to reveal the amulet's hiding place. 
How will the Amulet of Kings help us? As you saw in my visions, the amulet's misuse ripped a hole in the barrier that protects Time Real from the forces of oblivion. That damage must be undone, and the amulet is the key. But to find the amulet, we must first locate Sai Sahan. How can I help? For now, you must leave me to my meditation. I must set my mind to the task of locating Sai Sahan. Until then, embrace the unknowable. The drops of water cannot know themselves to be a river, yet the river flows on. One last thing, why did Molag Ball leave Valerius any possibility of escape? Perhaps it was simply arrogance. Perhaps it was all part of his grand scheme. Who can know the logic of a Daedric prince? I will call upon you again when the time is right. Farewell. There you are, Vestige. Come to the harborage. We must speak. Fortune did not abandon us entirely. Is uh, something wrong, Prophet? Despite many days of meditating and scrying, Sai Sahan's whereabouts still elude me. The projection that you witnessed in the Foundry of Woe showed him to be in great peril. If we are to find him, I will need your help, Vestige. What can I do to help? Though Sai remains hidden from my sight, Lyris brings news that an agent of the enemy lurks in Davin's watch. Fear is on the lips of the people. Darkness walks among them. Even a blind man can sense it. It is the hand of Menemarko. And how can that help us? If it is truly an agent of Menemarko's worm cult, it may provide us with a clue that will hasten our search. Seek this agent, but tread carefully. The worm cult is a cult of necromancy, and the undead are fearsome opponents. And how can I find this agent? Venture to Davin's watch. Speak to Fedwira Loren at the market, or Okia the beggar. Lyris first heard murmurs of trouble lurking in the shadows from them. Locate this agent of evil. Return with any personal effects they carry with them. And when I'll find something in return, okay. Since the war began, the market has never been busier. Have you noticed anyone strange lurking about? Let me think. Ah, yes. Imperial fellow. Tall, brusque, rather boorish. He pushed me while I was haggling at the market. You're very sweet to say that. He scurried off in the direction of the stables, if that's any help to you. And he was with another man. Deathly pale with deep-set eyes. He gave me the chills that one did.
I wasn't going to ask you for coin. I'm no beggar. I prefer to sleep out here where it's warm. Have you noticed anyone, anything strange in town? Come to think of it, there was some out-of-towner mucking about in the abandoned stable last night. I didn't pry. None of my business. Also, he was armed. I'm no fool. See here, I had no idea the man was wanted by the authorities. He didn't... Wait. I remember now. He was with another man, gaunt and pale as a ghost. They opened a storm cellar door near the stables. Do you think they were burgling the place? March into the great houses. Strange request indeed. I was on my evening stroll having a bite to eat in a back alley when I noticed that the imperial neck I feasted upon bore a gold, golden medallion. I recognized the trinket at once and, and at once as the sigil of the cult of the black worm. While I considered this, I heard the dull thwack of a blunt object hitting flesh and bone. And my world went black. I awoke in a cave bound to a chair, my head throbbing in bittersweet pain, with bittersweet pain. A number of hooded cultists surrounded me, each with the unmistakable gleam of murder in, the, it, it, of murder in his eyes. I quite liked them. One of the cultists seemed different than the others, and I recognized them as their leader almost immediately. He had a cold yet calm demeanor and seemed completely unafraid of me. He introduced himself as Abner Tharn. He was somewhat displeased that I, that I had my, made my evening meal one of his most loyal guards. Normally, he, he explained, I would have been discorporated, discorporated, discorporated for such an infraction, but he said he liked my style and violent pros Clip clivities. What a word. Never heard of that word before. He said he saw a lot of promise in me and would like to propose a mutual benef beneficial arrangement. If I agreed to join the worm cult, I could replace his, th this agent. I would reside in a conveniently placed underground lair with within the city limits, which would assure me a continued stream of meals along with a virtually unlimited supply of black soul gems. The arrangement did so sound promising, but just to play da dangerous advocate, I asked what my alternative might be. In answer, Tharn opened a portal to Cold Harbor right at my feet. Chair began to teeter, and the screams of the damned filled my ears. Lovely, lo lovely to listen to, but not something I wished to experience firsthand. Needless to say, I chose servitude. Now I, I well away. Now I, while I wave my days, I think that's a typo, my days guarding this wretched cavern, prowling the city streets after dusk, it's not a bad existence. In fact, I've begun to take up the sudden study of necromancy. At some point, 
Perhaps Tharn would, would con consent to teaching me the fi fine earth points himself. Time will tell. And I have all the time in the world, don't I? Hmm. What is the meaning of this interruption? Why have you contacted me? This is Abner Tharn. The Master and I are very busy. This had better be important. Wait a moment. I don't know your face. Identify yourself immediately. Who, me? Yes, your report, you insipid twit. What, did you contact me by accident? Forgive me, my lord, but I heard something that might be, interest, be, be of interest to you. Well, out with it. I don't have all day. Your Someone... disguise is terrible, by the way. You look like a character from a bad adventure novel. Someone has been asking the locals about a red guard named Sisahan. Are they? I didn't think that Redguard has been had a single friend left. Not in this world, at any rate. Never fear. Sai Sahan is safely locked away. Even if they were to discover his location, attempting a rescue would be suicidal. Do you know where he is? Of course I do. But I'm not in the habit of revealing vital secrets to insipid lackeys. Now be gone. And if you contact me again without good reason, I shall contact your cell commander and have you properly thrashed for your ineptitude. Thank you, my lord. You've returned. What have you found? The cultists use orbs like this one to communicate. I spoke to Abner Tharn. Abner Tharn shows his face again. I get the sense that he might have a larger part to play in the coming events, but for good or ill, I cannot say. Leave the orb with me. I shall be able to use it to locate Sai Sahan. Good luck. Hold a moment. Come here. We need to talk. I heard you and the Prophet talking about Abner Tharn. Why do you dislike him so much? Didn't the Prophet tell you the story of the Five Companions? He showed me a vision about them. I'd like to hear your thoughts. I don't know where to start. There's so much to tell. Uh, tell me about the Five Companions. We were chosen by Emperor Varen to join him on a quest to recover a lost artifact called the Amulet of Kings. The Five included Varen, myself, a red guard named Sai Sahan, Abner Tharn, and the traitor Manamarco. You only know him as the man who killed you and stole your soul. But back then, he was Emperor Varen's most trusted advisor. It was Manamarco who convinced Varen to search for the Amulet of Kings. Varen wasn't a true dragonborn emperor. He didn't share Alessia's bloodline. Manamarco said the amulet could change all that. He said he could use it to perform a ritual that would turn Varen into a true Dragonborn. What happened next? It took us more than two years, but we finally recovered the amulet and returned to Cyrodiil to perform the ritual. Menemarco set us up. 
The ritual caused a violent explosion of magical energy. We lost Varen. Saisahan and I were declared outlaws. But then... Manamarco convinced the Elder Council to recognize Abner Tharn's daughter Clivia as Empress Regent. But Manamarco was the true power behind the throne. Saisahan and I went into hiding. There was a bounty on our heads. And tell me about Abner Tharn. Abner Tharn is Grand Chancellor of the Elder Council, and Chief Advisor to his daughter, the Empress Regent. He is also Manimarko's toady. Tharn's first loyalty is to his family and the Empire, and he's a ruthless bastard when it comes to defending them. The Worm Cult obviously doesn't share those loyalties. Tharn would never trust them, but he's too much of a coward to betray them. What if he got something out of it? Maybe. But what could we offer him? He's already got more gold than the gods themselves. Enough for now. I know it's a lot to take in. We'll talk more later. In the meantime, I'll keep an eye on the Prophet. Hopefully that orb will help him find out where Sai Sahan is being held. Once we know that, we can plan our next move. has been revealed. It is both dark and twisted. Come to the harborage. We have an unexpected guest who demands your presence. Gee, yeah, I wonder who it could be. We have an unexpected guest, Vestige. What's Tharn doing here? My attempts to use the orb of discourse to locate Saisahan did not meet with success, so I decided to try a more direct approach. I used it as it was intended and contacted Abner Tharn. Is he being cooperative? He admits that he knows Saisahan's location, but he will not reveal it. He demands to speak with you directly. Let's hear what he has to say. We meet again, then. I don't like this, but if it's the only way to find Sai Sahar... We meet again, Vestige. I wish to speak with you on a matter of some urgency. What's this about? Menimarko and his vile master have dark and terrible plans for this world. If you wish to stop them, you need to find the Amulet of Kings. But to find the Amulet, you must first locate Sai Sahar. And you know where it is. Of course I do. And I might be willing to share that information for a price. I'm listening. If Manny Marco learns that we've spoken, he'll have me executed. I'm a danger to him. I know too much. Therefore I, Abner Tharn, Chancellor of the Elder Council, Overlord of Nibane, formally request asylum. Asylum? Are you joking? Do I look to be in a mirthful mood? There comes a point when even a patriot's loyalty is stretched too far, when the things he has done, and has seen done, become too much to bear. Will you come to us? Would that I could. As it happens, I find myself to be somewhat of a prisoner, in dire need of rescue. My proposal is this. If you retrieve me from Menemarko's fortress and grant me asylum, I will give you Sai Sahan's location in return. How can I be sure this isn't a trick? You can't. And you'd be a fool to trust me completely. But the facts remain, you need me if you wish to find Sai Sahan, and I must keep my head if I am to ensure the continuance of the Empire. I Neither can see your point. Choice. Yeah, I can see your point. Farn is quite correct. We have little choice in the matter. You can't be serious. 
How can we possibly trust him? As our visitor so eloquently pointed out, we cannot. But if we are to locate Saisahan, we must do this. Go with the vestige, Lyris. Rescue Than. Give him the chance to redeem himself. He may surprise you. I don't like this, but if it's the only... Castle of the Worm. I want to do something. Where's my, um... You appear to have arrived in the wretched squalor, a shanty town of soul shriven outside Menemarco's castle. How do we get inside? As luck would have it, Menemarco is away on some errand for the Daedric Prince. The castle garrison is not on alert, so you should only encounter a token defense. The main gate is sealed, but there are undoubtedly other routes one might take. Such as? You're the hero, aren't you? Improvise. We'll find a way in. What a skeever. Improvise, he says. I can't believe we're risking our lives to rescue that skeeving horker. Any suggestions? Subtlety and stealth. Let's not bring the entire castle guard down on our heads. And didn't he say this was a town of soul shriven? Maybe we can find one who knows his way around. We get started then. Try to be inconspicuous. We just got free of this place. The last thing we need is to get recaptured. Amazar wishes he had his wares. Even worms need new claws, yes? I need a way into the castle. You know of one? Feed first. That is the fastest way in. Ask Cadwell. That crazy bastard seems to know every corner of this place. 
Better hurry, though. I heard they've just chased him into a building near the waterway. Why am I not surprised to find Cadwell here? He certainly does get around. Say, jolly good timing. Lyris enchanted, as always. And you, you're looking fit for someone, so uh, how can I put it? Deficient in the soul department? Sir Cadwell, what are you doing here? Wherever the forces of evil prey upon the innocent, wherever souls are stolen and bodies shriven, wherever a people cry out for justice, there goest I. I mean, this whole eternal servitude business is rather nasty, don't you agree? We need to find a way in the castle. You better as Garters, why? Lovely grounds, no question, but it's positively brimming with angry cultists carrying rather large weapons. We need to rescue Raptor Tharn. It's complicated. I see, I see. A rescue, is it? Well, that's a different kettle of fish, isn't it? Hmm. There is a cistern that drains into the waterway. Uh, the door is locked, but that's not stopped me before. Why don't you meet me there and we'll see what's what? Thank you. That might be our best chance to get inside. <laughs> What's that noise? Hold on. This is like a, you know, like a very weird noise in my. Ear. Keep up nicely. I can't abide dawdlers. What's next? This whole bloody castle sits on top of an ocean of unstable oblivion, what's it? The Daedra use pipes to control the flow of it all, and it comes out as steam. Go on. Well, most of the doors in here are sealed with pressure from that steam. It's all rather complicated. But in a nutshell, if I can tamper with the pipes, we can open the doors to the inner keep, and you can slip inside. What do you need from us? Well, I can handle the tinkering, but you'll have to keep the beasties off me. It will be quite a romp. Are you game? I'm game. Let's go. Onward! Ha <laughs> ha!
Don't worry, this will get you inside with a minimum of fuss. There you are. Quick as you please. There's even time for tea. Thanks. A pleasure thinking nothing of it. The merest trifle, truly. You'll find this Tharn fellow at the top of the Tower of Bones. You'll need to make your way through the Keep's heart to get to it, but it's not terribly far. What is he doing up there? I understand the King of Worms has set him to the task of inspecting the soul gems that find their way into the castle. Which is to say, well, uh, all of them. You'll see crates of the things scattered around the premises. Why don't you come with us? We could use the another hand. Indeed? Well, I might just take you up on that. But safety first. I'll stay here for the nonce and make sure nothing comes to bugger up our little adventure from behind. Thanks, Cadwell. Sir Cadwell came through again. That crazy night is starting to grow on me. Should I be worried? Not really. Oh no, hear me out. How many thorns does it take to rule an empire? With the arrival of the Chancellor, a crusty Nimini's politician named Abner Thar, and the atmosphere of the ca at the Cat Castle of the King of Warrens has taken a decidedly more amusing turn. He barks his pathetic orders and expects us to pander to his every whim. When we ignore him, he storms about, about like an infant, shouting, Do you know who I am? And Menomarco will hear, hear of this. The King of Worms thinks him an insufficient. An, an infectual buffoon. I've I have heard him say say as such myself. But Tharn is no idiot. I feel certain he suspects that we that he has out that he has outlived his usefulness. With his daughter on the ruby throne and Lord Menmarco filling her he head with the illusions of grandeur, Tharn's power isn't worth the breath it takes it it takes to declare it. The Empress Regent is easily manipulated manipulated with trinkets silks and rare delicacies she has little fondness for her father and to my knowledge hasn't even expressed curiosity regarding his absence and despite his years of political experience and in, in the imperial court the old man isn't half the manipulator that Manamarco has proven to be Tharn's greatest miscalculation is that he believes he is still ha that, that he believes he still has value here in the grand scheme of things, we are all expendable. He, most of all, all of the power in all of the power in Cyrodiil means nothing to the Lord of Brutality and Domination. But Tharn's impotent ta tantrums remain a source of great mirth. I imagine I will tire of them eventually, and on that day, I will pour a glass of fine wine and take enjoyment watching him thrash about as his soul is torn from his body, like so many thousands before him. Goddamn. You, hurry up. The worms are on the move. There you are. I was beginning to think you were captured. We've a bit of a problem, I'm afraid. What's the problem? The door at the top of the tower has sealed with a warded barrier. I've seen the worms use similar sorceries before. It will sear you to ash if you touch it. And how do we, and how do we get through then? Here's a thought. 
The flesh atronachs that patrol the castle halls are assembled in a laboratory very close to the warded door. If you created your own atronach, it would be bound to obey you. You could force it to smash through the barrier. And how do you buy build a flesh atronach? It's a simple process. A child of five could do it. Unfortunately, we don't have a child of five, so I'll be forced to walk you through it. You'll need some good-sized chunks of flesh. Take them to the laboratory, and I'll contact you there. On our way. It takes a lot to make me ill, but this is getting there. for a while, I'll tell you that much. Imagine how the worms get used to this. Not very big, is it? Oh well. Now, cast the ritual from the book. Ha! We'll make a necromancer of you yet. Insufferable worms. I'm working as fast as I can. So, we meet in person at long last. You look taller in your projection. I'm here to get you out, per our arrangement. And not a moment too soon. If I had to inspect one more bloody soul gem, I'd have thrown myself from the tower. Why should we trust you, Thark? A fair question. I know things. Things that can help you. Here's a bit to whet your appetite. Menemarco isn't doing any of this to serve Molag Baal. His ultimate plan is to outscheme the God of Schemes and to replace him. But how? The Amulet of Kings is the key to everything. 
Why do you think he kidnapped Sai Sahan? He's torturing him, trying to get him to reveal the amulet's hiding place. And so he's trying to find the uh, uh, he's trying to find the amulet of kings before we do. Precisely. With the amulet at his command, Manny Marco believes he can trap Molag Bal's essence and absorb his power. He seeks to become a god himself. Uh, okay, that sounds bad. What else can you tell me? I'd love to discuss this further, but this is hardly the place. Get me to a safe haven and I will tell you the rest. That was our agreement, was it not? Now, let's... Wait. Did you feel that? The what? Now, now, Tharn. No telling my secrets. Go to your room, Abner. I will deal with you shortly. Ah, dear Lyris. Your old position at the Foundry is still available. We'll even give you your own set of unbreakable chain. And you. The thorn in my side. The pebble in my shoe. How is it Now we test it. Process drains the energy from most victims, yet you keep fighting! more can you take, I wonder? Chancellor of the Elder Council. His power wanes, Vestige. Strike him down while his attentions are on me. How dare you betray me, Zahn? Your suffering will be legendary. He will not remain discorporated for long. His consciousness will be adrift for a few moments, but that is all. Why did you help me? Because Manny Marco has delusions of godhood. He cares nothing for the Empire. He seeks only power. I've never done battle with him before. He's far more powerful than I imagined. Oh well. Too late for regrets. In for a bean, in for a beanstalk. What now? First things first. We need to get out of here alive. What do you suggest? We certainly can't go back the way you came in. I'd imagine they're swarming the grounds already. There's a refuse chute further down the path. It's a bit of a drop, but we'll probably survive. Okay, let's go. You must be the ugliest princess ever rescued from a tower, Tharn. Hmm. I'm shocked your lack of education and repeated blows to the head haven't dulled your wit, Titanborn. Again, need a way out? I'll have that open in just a moment. Okay, preserve us. You're as battered and bruised as a peach in a sack of rocks. Bit of the old daring do, was it? No matter. You'll be needing an escape route, no doubt. Your timing, Cadwell. Well, it's what I do, quite honestly. We should probably hurry it up. The entire castle is as bristly as a sack of sewing needles after all that noise. Why don't you come with us? Come with you? You mean leave Cold Harbor? Well, I, I don't know. It's been a very long time since I've seen the world I left behind. Do, do you think it's wise? If you come along, I'll be good for you. Well, that's, uh, that's settled then. And after all, you do need someone to lead you out of here. Onward! Go.
Into the shoot, come on. Goodbye. Quickly, I've opened another portal. Hurry. My estates, my titles, my own life, it's all forfeit now. All in the name of preserving the Empire. I swear by all the gods, Menemarka will pay dearly for this. Are you RN? Of course. I am Abnathan. It will take more than a few brainless cultists to rattle these old bones. Now then, where were we? You were telling you were going to tell us where Saisahan is. Ah, yes. <clears throat> Truth be told, I don't know the precise location, but I do know that he is Manimarko's prisoner, and that the King of Worms is trying to pry the location of the amulet from him. You don't know where he is. Now, now, before you lose your temper, let me clarify. I don't know precisely where he is, but I can find out. I'll just need a little time. You tricked us. What? You son of a bitch! Huh. Ah! Are you insane? Get away from me, you brutish she-troll! Yes, stand down. He's done nothing but lie to us from the beginning. I don't care what he says. He'll always be Menemarko's toady. Please. Menemarko wants me dead. Did I pretend to capitulate to him? Yes, I did. Do you have any idea how many lives I saved by doing so? The only thing you saved was your holdings in your own hide, you pompous ass. Enough. Abner had no choice, Lewis. And we are guilty of our own deceit, are we not? The time has come. For the Vestige to know the truth. What's this? The Vestige doesn't know? Oh, this is rich. Sire, don't. Vestige, until now, you've only known me as the Prophet. But that is not my true name. I am Varen Aquilarius. Our fallen Emperor, in the tattered robes of a moth priest, blind as a newborn kitten. I am sorry I deceived you, Vestige. You're angry. It is to be expected. You're the Emperor. I was once, but no more. My name is Baron Aquilarius. Why didn't you tell me? Why the deception? In truth, I feared you'd kill me where I stood if you knew who I was. You certainly wouldn't have allied with us so readily. I caused this, all of this. If Merlock Ball destroys this world, the blame will be mine and mine alone. How can I trust you now, or Lyris? You must not blame Lyris. She did as I instructed. She's my sworn protector, but she is also your ally. You have my solemn promise, Vestige. When this is over, if you still judge me harshly, you can end my life. I will offer no resistance. So what now? We must find Saisahan. <coughs> Everything depends on that. What should I do? So what? So what, so what should I do? In this matter, nothing. Abner and I must confer. We will contact you again when we have more information. I did not force I'm sorry I lied to you. I, I hope we can still be friends. Well, the Prophet was the Emperor all along. I wanted to tell you the truth, but the Prophet... Uh, Varen didn't think it was wise. I hope you can forgive us. Forgive me. Why did you hit Tharn? After Menemarko betrayed us, Tharn went right on being his lapdog so that his daughter, Clivia, could remain on the throne. He's a traitorous pig. The bastard had it coming. Varen will figure something out. Maybe Tharn can actually help us, but I still don't trust him. He'll knife us in the back first chance he gets, mark my word. Varen and I have work to do, but you... Okay. people are doing the main quest you Don wants 
to speak to you. Go to the Davin's Watch Mage's Guild. Quick, quick. To discuss I'll have his I. heart. Ah, excellent. You got my message. Apparently, that little creature isn't completely useless. Banekin can be such children. I hope you've nothing pressing. We could be here a while. Why are you dressed like that? I can't be strutting around the city wearing my imperial regalia, can I? Your concern about my fashion sense is touching, but irrelevant. I've called you here for a reason. If we are to determine a course of action, we need more information. So what are you talking about? By now, it should be clear your Prophet Emperor brought these catastrophic events upon us. Everything that transpired is his fault. Menemarco deceived him, it wasn't his fault. Granted. Menemarco can be very persuasive and charismatic when he wants to be. We all believed him when he said we could change Varen's bloodline with the Amulet of Kings. And then why do, why do you blame Varen? You saved Varen's life when you rescued him in Cold Harbor. In return, he lied to you about his true identity and his part in causing the Soul Burst. He manipulated you from the very start. Perhaps the better question is, why don't you blame Varen? Just tell me why you called me here. Varen wants to assemble a new group of companions in the vein of the original five. Claims it fulfills a prophecy in those wretched scrolls of his. Superstitious nonsense, but he is quite correct on one point. We need to find Sai Sahan. Why is Sai Sahan so, support, so important? In the chaos following the Soul Burst, Sahan stole the Amulet of Kings and fled the Imperial City. We're going to need that relic, and he is the only one who knows its current location. Where is Sai Sahan now? He was captured by Minimarko's agents and taken to an undisclosed location. We need to find out where he's being held. And what do you need me to do? Minimarko keeps his most secret documents at Knife Ear Grotto in Deshan inside a hidden lair of Daedric cultists. We must travel there and search for clues. I'll set out at once and meet you there. Head to Knife Ear Grotto. In okay. That's in the shot. <clears throat> It must Normally, be a not to have Titanborn following you around like a lost puppy. <sighs> Normally, I usually live stream this, but it's like, or, or are in the presence of a farm. When I uh, when I record this normally, it's like, oh, by the way, your computer is DC, and it's very frustrating because I don't want, want, want my computer to DC on me. I say that now. I say that now. King of Worms, I can and I shall. Where is the amulet of kings? You cannot break the will of a son of Yakuda. I spit on you. So, Sai Sahan is alive and he has not been broken. An important piece of the puzzle, to be sure, but where is he being kept?
Chin El Adabar, the amulet of the kings of glory, an artifact of the divines, a badge of office for the ruling emperors of Cyrodiil, and the key to my ascendancy. Yet it eludes me. Exploiting its power to bring about the calamity of our age was intoxicating. It made me aware of the limitless possibilities available to one strong enough and fearless enough to use it to achieve his own ends. The amulet has the power to create or destroy, but it also has the power to undo the damage caused by the soul burst, to mend the tear in the barrier between Learn and Oblivion. I must recover it before some fool fixes that which must remain broken. He knows of our plan to use the amulet to set things right. We must rescue Sai Sahan before he can be broken. The Red Guard's iron will cannot be overcome with standard interrogation techniques. Physical tortures appear to be useless. I have therefore instructed the Daedra to move Sai Sahan into the Halls of Torment. The Duchess will be most pleased to have a new guest. His flesh is strong, but perhaps her tortures of the mind will break him. I have come too far to allow this upstart sword master to thwart my plans. I will find the amulet one way or another. This is the information we've been looking for. At last, Sai Sahan has been taken to the Halls of Torment. You know where that is? Oh, yes. It's Cold Harbor's most nefarious prison. The Daedra in the Halls of Torment reach deep into the dark places of a prisoner's mind and torture them with apparitions of the things they most dread. That sounds like a lot what happened to Lyris. It's an effective tactic. The Daedra mock our emotional attachments and the memories that form our sense of self. Daedra have no use for such things. They are immortal. It's impossible to kill Daedra. They simply reform over time. We need to rescue Sai Sahan. Can you get us to the Halls of Torment? Of course I can. I am Abnathan. But first, I have a bit more research to do. Go back to the Harbridge and tell Varen what we've discovered. I'll meet you there once I've made the necessary preparations. All right. An unexpected visit. What brings you back? An unexpected visit. What brings you back, Vestige? Arn and I discovered where they're keeping Sai Sahan. At last! Where can he be found? A prison in Cold Harbor, called the Halls of Torment. Well done. I will begin searching for a safe route to the Halls of Torment immediately. Is there anything else? I was going to say that a river flows and we are slaves to its current. But I am done with riddles and metaphors. I don't know what awaits us. I'm not a prophet. I'm just a foolish old man who glimpsed the wisdom of the scrolls and survived. But you can find a path to the Halls of Torment, can't you? When Tarn returns, we will combine our resources. We will find a path to these Halls of Torment soon enough. We'll find Sai Sahan. And if my marker gets in our way, I'll chop that sniveling knife here.
Vestige, meet me at the harborage. We are ready to rescue Said Sahan. Bastard. I hate that there's like a chance thing of like, you know, doing whatever, but... <clears throat> What do I care? Yes, I see. And you the are time has come for another foray. I? Is it your superior The time has come for another foray into oblivion vestige. We have one last ally in need of rescue. Indeed, Abnathan and I have been meditating, scrying, and poring over Menemarko's notes. And at long last, we've discovered the location of the Halls of Torment. How long has Sai been a prisoner there? Our friend has suffered unimaginable and unending torment for nearly two years. Far longer than any mortal man should endure. But Sai Sahan is something more than mortal man. He's a descendant of Leki, the Yokudan sword saint. I've seen it. Then we must find him in quickly. We have been able to determine the precise area of the halls where Sai is being held. This is why we were so long about the task. I shall open a portal for you. Am I going alone? Lyris and Abner have both agreed to accompany you, but I fear their mutual enmity will complicate your task. Speak with them. What's wrong? What did Varen say? He said that only one of you can join me. Then your choice is clear. I've known Sai Sahan longer than anyone. I should be the one to... Thank you. Go with Lyris. Save Sai Sahan from the Halls of Torment. Where is 
the amulet of kings! What are you doing here? Where is the Amulet of Kings? Tell me or I'll gut you like a fish with your own sword. You see how simple it is to be a sword singer, son? We were so close. Why would this torture be ma made to look like Tharn? Tharn was always mocking Sai, making jokes at his expense. Sai never responded, but I know it hurt him deeply. The Daedra must have sensed that. On the plus side, a doppelganger with Tharn's face was much more satisfying to kill. What was that t about being a sword singer? The sword singers are legendary. They were a group of Red Guard sword masters. Wiped out in the first era by the Yokudan Emperor Hira. Sahan spent years trying to resurrect their lost art, but never succeeded. He considered it his greatest failure. So the doppelganger was using that failure to tor torment him. And it took on Tharn's appearance because he was a familiar rival that Sai secretly despised. Imagine seeing your nemesis succeed where you failed, day after day. We appear to have some unwanted visitors in the hall for the morning. Let's make them feel welcome. Your friend always had the opportunity to free himself. All he needs Enjoy to do is reveal the location of the hall. You'll never leave the hall. Make them all be on your merry way. Well, Sai seems to think so. Sai really seems to think so. Why? <laughs> Why else would he be thinking this? Really a logical explanation for that. Sai's in love with Lyris. I'll deal with them. 
You'll be safe here, my love. Shit, shit. Too late. Once again. Come, my friend. Time for your next When I get my hands on Menomarco, I'm gonna slice that traitor's stem to sternum and wash my hands in his body cavity. Savage. I don't understand. Why did that top doppelganger look like? I mean, I could I'd pro probably think of a few, few few reasons. How should I know? Sai and I are friends, good friends, nothing more. They pulled that. Uh, they pulled the idea from Sai's head, didn't they? What? No. Our friendship is based on honor and loyalty, not foolish uh -huh. games of love. I, I'm sorry. I d I didn't mean to snap at you. This is just so unexpected, confusing. I'll show her anguish when I bury my axe in her skull. Let's keep moving. And listen. Oh. oh. We don't get many visitors in the halls of torment, but there's always room for a few more permanent residents. Such tenacity, such ambition, such bravery. Such a pity we're going to skin you alive and feast on your intelligence. Fools. You all suck. Release his bonds, quickly! I do not know you. Why are you here? Who sent you? Baron sent me, I'm a friend. The Emperor? He lives? This day is filled with wonders. Did they force you to reveal the location of the Amulet of Kings? They tortured me for many months. Years, perhaps. But I did not break my vow. The amulet is hidden and safe. We walk. You, we need to get you out of here. My strength is returning. Lead on. You have done it, Vestige. Bring him through the portal quickly. Sahan lives. You've outdone yourself, Vestige. The danger tortured his mind as well as his body. The minds of some men can endure hardships far greater than anything that Daedra can concoct. 
The forces of loyalty, honor, and friendship are powerful indeed. What's our next move? We must recover the Amulet of Kings, but only when Sai Sahan has had time to recover. He is a man of great strength, but he will still need to rest after such an ordeal. Where is the Amulet of Kings? Sai locked the Amulet away in the ruins of San Kator and entrusted the key to one of his close associates. But he can tell you himself. Speak with him. He's eager to meet his liberator. I'll contact you when we're ready to move forward. I owe you my life. My lord calls you Vestige. A strange name. Is it true your soul was taken from you? Yes, it's true. Stranger still. My people say that bravery and honor are the hallmarks of a great soul. Yet you have both of those things in great measure. I had begun to think that honor was a relic of the past. How are you feeling? Give me a... I cannot say. Physically, I am unharmed. But mentally, I feel a darkness in my heart. A weight on my soul. I do not know how long this emptiness will remain. How do we get the Amulet of Kings? I hid the amulet in a sacred catacomb protected by magical wards. The means of lifting these wards are in the keeping of my old mentor, Kasura. As soon as I am able, we must meet with her. I will try to rest, but I am a warrior. We cannot sit still for very long. <coughs> and I should certainly bathe before we meet with Kasura. I am unpleasantly fragrant. If she happened to be downwind of me, well, I would never hear the end of it. <laughs> As you say, sir. The path ahead of us is a dark one, but it pleases me to know that I shall walk the path with friends. May we all rest a little easier tonight. There you are. Come. We must talk. It is time, Vestige. Sai Sahan's strength has returned. You must accompany him to his ancestral home in the Valley of Blades. The Valley of Blades? An ancient trading hub high in the mountains of Hammerfell. A place I thought lost to the ravages of time. Sai Sahan entrusted the key to Sanka Tor to one of his mentors there. It must be retrieved. I understand. Come quickly. Manimarko is undoubtedly conducting his own search for the Amulet of Kings. We must not allow him to get there first. Believe it once. He's already been there. Honor and faith to you, my friend. We are nearly ready to depart. My Lord Varen requested that Tharn and Snow Lily join us, for safety's sake. Though I have seen fewer places as tranquil as the Valley of Blades. Why do we need to go to the Valley of Blades? An old friend, Kasura, dwells there. Before I was captured, I placed an enchanted ring in her keeping. The ring is a key of sorts. Without it, 
you will not be able to open the secret chamber where the Amulet of Kings lies hidden. Tell me about Kasura. She was my first mentor and instructor, a true master of blades. She still trains young swordsmen in the valley, though she deems worthy of her instruction. What does she teach? Swordsmanship, but much more than that. Her teachings revolve around a trinity of body, blade, and brilliance. The sword singers of old were said to be masters of all three. Oh, look, there will be time for questions later. Are you ready to depart? Yes, I'm ready. I'll open a portal to hasten your journey. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Not mean to do that. Alright, box aside. <laughs> do you smell the scent of burning embers in the air? Oh, we may be in for a treat if Kasura is teaching the firewalk. Which way are we heading? The Abbey is just down the path. We're fortunate that my Lord Varen opened the portal for us. This landslide appears to have blocked the valley's only approach. What could have caused it? I cannot say. I've never known these mountains to experience earthquakes. Strange. It is tradition for Redguard men to shave their heads, following a time of great trials. I shaved mine long ago when I failed in the task to restore the lost tradition of the sword singers. But also, long hair gets in the way during battle. Nice. But you didn't shave your beard. There is an old Red Guard proverb. A man is only as great as the beard that wears him. A full and healthy beard carries with it a sense of great honor and wisdom. Also crumbs. <laughs> oh, a few have tried, but a fool and his fingers are quickly parted. Nice. Which way are we heading? The Abbey is just down the path. Okay, let's go. Uh, it's strange to return to these mountains. Memories of youth flood my mind. Each one bringing its own sorrow or its own smile. Oh, joy. We've been here less than five is minutes this? and Sahan is already getting burns. maudlin and weeping. Quickly, we must find Kasura. So much destruction. What could have done this? I'm afraid I've seen this before. Keep an eye skyward, Titanborn. Kasura! There! Saisahan! Are you injured? Intruders. What happened? Cultists. They attacked. So many of my students have fallen. The Abbey is in ruins, Kasura. How, how could they? Gigantic beast. Like nothing I've ever seen. Cultists. They're opening risk to oblivion. No. Save your strength, Kasura. We will make them pay. I promise you. What do you think? Trap? It's only a trap if you don't know about it. I assume everything is a trap, therefore... In the name of Molag Baal, come forth and destroy his enemies! Heed me, Daedric minions, and obey! of oblivion. Come forth and feast. Sai. The Titan returns. Ah, Sai Sahan and company at last. My pet has been waiting for you. I Skyward. Here it comes. How many more of your friends must die, Sai Sahan? Where does the amulet of kings?
well fought. Sai Sahan travels with worthy companions. Are you injured? My injuries are not serious. What are a few more scars to an old warrior? Scars have the virtue of reminding us that our past is real. My students, in my home, have not fared half so well. I'm glad to see you. But curious why you are here. We've come for the ring. Is it safe? We did not find the ring of Stendar's mercy. But now that the King of Worms knows you are here, it is only a matter of time before he launches another attack. We must collect the ring and leave him quickly. Indeed. Leave quickly. Atop the eastern stair is the secret entrance to the ancestral crypt. The ring is within. Go. Oh. Follow me. The hidden entrance will not be obvious. Why would a crypt need a secret entrance? It's a wonder there's an unplundered crypt in all of Skyrim. You Nords could learn a thing or two from the builders of Hammerfell. Perhaps Hammerfell could also teach Nibine the virtue of good manners. Here we are. Watch your step as you descend. I can feel the presence of my ancestors whenever I come here. I am burdened with a great responsibility to honor their sacrifice and uphold their legacy. Your ancestors are interred here. Aye, along with some of the most renowned sword singers who ever lived. We must tread carefully and with great respect. Why did Kasura hide the ring here? We both thought it would be well protected in the Valley of Blades. The most gifted young swordsmasters of Hammerfell are invited to train with Kasura. The town was bristling with strength and steel before the Titans showed up. And how did Maker and how did Man Marco find out this about the valley? I cannot say. Perhaps someone told him of my past. Perhaps he pried the memory from me during my time in the halls of torment. Either way, I am to blame for the valley's destruction. No one I love will be safe until Mana Marco has been dealt with. We'll stop Mana Marco. And I shall need a proper weapon. Tread lightly. Few living have been permitted to walk among these honored dead. Here at Tafsahan, I pledge myself to the destruction of Manimarko and the liberation of Tamriel from the tyranny of the God of Schemes, Molag Baal. Thank you. I knew you would lead me to the ring eventually. Give it to me. Your presence defiles this place, Mena Marco. Give me the ring, and I might spare your pathetic lives. We struck down your Titan, and we'll strike you down soon enough. The Titan was a prelude of what's to come if you continue to defy me. Defy you? Your delusions of godhood are laughable, you ignominious corpse herder. Very well, then. I'll simply take the ring from your corpses. Blasphemy! How dare you raise the honored dead to fight your battle! Ultimate. 
The next time you hide something from the most powerful necromancer in all of Tamriel, you might reconsider hiding it in a bloody tomb. That was sucked. I've never died in here. That's shocking. Okay. Why are you after me? Oh, because I have the fucking rings, that's why. Get out of here, asshole. Hold the line! You must not get the rings! I've never died here. The ring is ours for the time being. Guard it well. I will guard it with my life. You must return to the harborage and give it to Lord Varen. It will remain safe in his keeping until it is time to travel to Sancrator. Lyris, Abner, and I will remain here to help Kasura bury the dead and wow. tend to the injured. How will I return? Lord Varen has been observing our progress. He will open the portal for you to return. There it is, the top of the stairs. Go quickly. I'll tell him what happened. The damage is great, but if you had not arrived when you did, there would be nothing left to rebuild. Be safe in the coming days, my friends. I look forward to your return. I need better gear. That's what I need. In my mind's eye, I witness your battle with the worm cult and with the undead Anse abominations. Your mission was successful, was it not? Here's the Ring of Sinar's Mercy. The Abbey of Blades was destroyed. I witnessed the Titan's assault and sensed the deaths of many innocents. It is a great and terrible loss. Saisahan and the others will need time to aid Kasuna. I will contact you when they return and we will begin the journey to Sankator. <laughs>
Bakruti is pleased to see you. This one sees you are out of crates. You will need to purchase more to continue, my friend. These precious gems can be traded for valuable rewards. Right. Until next time. You're a fan of poetry, aren't you? How is this then? As I was going out one day, my head fell off and rolled away. But when I saw that it was gone, I picked it up and put it on. <laughs> Vestige, meet me at the harborage. We are ready to reclaim the Amulet of King. This is going swimmingly so far. So far, so good. And so we've come full circle. I led the original five companions on a quest to reclaim the Amulet of Kings. At the time, I told myself it was for the good of all Tamriel. I was wrong, and now all the world suffers for my hubris. Now we have a chance to make things right. Perhaps, but I wonder. Will history repeat itself or rewrite itself? In truth, I fear using the amulet again. Its power is both great and terrible. Destiny can crush us by fulfilling our wishes just as surely as it can by denying them. Tell me about St. Pator. It was a holy city in the first era, founded by Queen Alessia herself. It has since fallen into crumbling ruin. Before its capture, Sai Sahan hid the Amulet of Kings in the catacombs beneath the city. Where is Sankrator located? Well, it's in It is in the mountains of Calovia, the land of my youth. But I have little memory of that time. My exposure to the Elder Scrolls stole much of the man I once was. Speak to Sai Sahan. He can answer your questions far more accurately. The time has come for us to enter the catacombs of Sankrator. Do not underestimate the dangers that await us. Ages past, Sankrator was a place of light, but I fear that is no longer the case. We must be prepared for anything. Have you fully recovered from your wounds? I have been through much, but this body is tougher than the great hoax of Valenwood. I go with neither hope nor fear. It is useless to guess at a future that has yet to be written. You may hope if you wish, my friend. I will not judge. What's your plan? 
My Lord Varen will open a gateway to Sancrator. The amulet lies in a vault protected by powerful magic, a ward of Stendar, the god of justice and mercy. Also, a god of well-earned luck. I thought this could not hurt. Tell me more about Sancrator. It is written that Alessia received the divine inspiration for her slave rebellion at Sancrator, and so built her holy city there. But that was long ago. The city is a ruin now. It has become a dark place with areas best left undisturbed. What sort of areas? We should avoid the Crypt of Heroes. I saw enough angry dead there to fill nine lifetimes. Kasura and I barely escaped with our lives. We will enter through the inner courtyard and avoid it entirely. Now come. Time waits for no man. How do we break the ward? The catacombs contain two shrines dedicated to the Divines. We must consecrate them in Stendar's name. When that is done, the Ring of Stendar's Mercy should open the vault doors. Let's go. The portal is open. Go now. Return with the Amulet of Kings. I have a feeling Mana Marco is already there. He's a prick. Could have hidden that amulet anywhere in Tamriel, and this was your first choice? It seemed like a good idea at the time. Brilliant. Why is it that the people with the most ridiculous ideas are always the ones who are most certain of them? Shut up, Shut Tharn. up, Tharn. <laughs> Bruh. What brings you to sacred talk, old friend? Looking for an amulet, perhaps? When a Marco? How did you find this place? Do you really think I'd allow you to escape the halls of torment if I couldn't track your every move? Sai, no! Menemarco, stop! You're killing him! Where is the amulet of kings? My master, Molag Vaughn, demands it! Your master, please. You would use the amulet to betray Molag Bar. Fool! When I ascended, you could have been at my right hand, Tharn. Instead, you chose to align yourself with Mongols and imbeciles. Now, you'll die with them. You won't get away with this. Do you really think you can betray a Daedric prince? With the amulet of kings, all things are possible. Another no, god. Well, I mean, yes, but me. I will be a god. Do you really think Molag Ball doesn't know about your scheme, Mana Marco? It is protected by a ward of the divines. You mean your ward of Stendar, god of merciful forbearance, patron of gutless, law-abiding dimwits? It won't even slow me down. Mena Marco has been watching our every move. We led him right to the amulet. We must reach the amulet of kings first. Mena Marco may be powerful enough to break through Stendar's ward eventually. If we can get to the shrines quickly and receive Stendar's blessing, we can pass through the ward, but leave it in place. He may not be able to follow for some time. We must make our way to the inner courtyard. From there we can access the chambers where the shrines are located. Oh. Sai, are you well enough to continue? <sighs> Have no fear, Snow Lily. I am Red God. We are like mountain bamboo. <sighs> Far stronger and more flexible than we might appear. I find it hilarious that Manama. Through that gate lies the Crypt of Heroes. We can enter if you wish, but it is a foul place where the dead are restless and angry. Assistant, aren't you? Do you really think you can keep me from acquiring the, the amulet? amulet of kings is under the protection of Stendar's ward. It will never be yours. Ah, uh, Sai. You still don't understand, do you? My plan will succeed because of your ward of Stendar. 
It will prevent Morlock Ball from observing or interfering. By the time the war is down and the amulet is mine, it will already be too late. You're insane if you think you can betray the God of Schemes. Naive child. You know nothing. Chimel Adabal, the red diamond at the center of the Amulet of Kings, is the most powerful soul gem ever created. With the Amulet in my possession, I will absorb Morlock Baal's power, reducing him to an empty husk of ethereal flesh. Then I will trap his essence within the gem. Forgotten. In time, all of Tamriel will bow down before me. Soon, the God of Schemes will have a new name. Malib Marco. Oh, I think he is watching, but Lord Ball is the God of Schemes, after all. I, I must rest before we continue. Sai, are you all right? That bastard really hurt you, didn't he? I swear to the gods, I'll take his head off. Yeah. Oh, I'll be fine, Snow Lily. I, I just need a moment to catch my breath. Take all the time you need. I'll keep watch. If there's anything I can do, just name it. An enchanting moment. I'll be over here bringing up my lunch. Zet's tears. I thought I could handle this. And then Amarco's sorcery brought back all of the pain and doubt I felt inside the halls of torment. I have pushed my body much further than this. It is my mind that pains me. When Amarco filled my head with shattered memories, they are like broken glass. With every beat of my heart, they stab into me take a moment catch your breath that voice Lena Marco's voice it taunted me over and over in an endless cycle for years on end he never broke my will but he broke something I will make it through this my friend I did not endure years of torture in the halls of torment only to give up now <sighs> my pain has subsided let us make haste and finish. We must come. That's not the way. This is the way. Shrine is on the far side of the room. Quickly, we must find our way across. I have a surprise for you, Sai. Do you remember your fallen comrades from the Dragon Guard? I take the opportunity of raising them and their fight.
Stendar, God of mercy, charity, and justice. Empower us with your wisdom and vision. Help us to right the wrongs of this world through your grace and with your guidance. Encourage us as we smite the wicked and punish the unjust. You certainly did a thorough job hiding the amulet, Sai. Couldn't you have just stuffed it in a mattress or something? The second shrine is in the chamber beyond. There is a trick to reach it. The altar is on the far side, but to reach it, the drawbridge must be lowered. The shrine is on the other side of the chasm. The drawbridge is controlled by those levers. There's a pattern to it. All the levers must face the same way for the bridge to open. But which way? I... I seem to recall... The shrine is on... The drawbridge is... I seem to recall that using one will cause the adjacent levers to switch their positions. Perhaps that will be of some help. Leave him. God damn it. I need to research this because I don't know. I hate I hate when puzzles like give fucking no sense of fucking <laughs> uh Let me see here. Um give me two seconds again.
There we go. All right. <laughs> Grant a safe passage into the vault of the He just one shot at me. Didn't even I healed. See, this is my frustration. Sometimes things don't work in ESO. My one frustration with the fucking game. Well, my mini frustration. Corridors, crumbling walls, nauseating smells. This place has all the charm of a rift and brothel. It must feel very much like home to you, Tiger. You mean a crypt filled with the rotting corpses of inbred kings and failed statesmen? Must be what it's like at a Tharn family reunion. Your pathetic efforts will not succeed. The amulet of kings will be mine. Stand us grace and the sword of my father. You will not win, Anamarco. Soon, you will know the extent of my power and bow before me. Through the power of the amulet of kings, I will be transformed. All the nations of Tamriel will bow before me. They will worship me and beg for my mercy. All will know the name of Mani Marco as their one true god. You'll never get away with it, Mani Marco. We'll fight you to our last breath. By all means, my old friends. Try and stop me. Vault of Kings. What do I need to do? 
The shrines have been consecrated in Stendar's name. Now you must use the Ring of Stendar's mercy to open the vault doors. Ow. Stand in the casting circle and direct the ring of the doors to lift the ward. The door should open wide. Ready. Look, the amulet. I can see it from here. Romancer Tamriel has ever known. This is merely a transition. My first step towards true immortality. Now witness my true power. Watch as I rise up from the grave and ascend to godhood. Worm! You think you can betray the lord of brutality and domination without consequence? You will pay for your arrogance. You will writhe in agony for the rest of eternity! Your tortured screams will echo throughout oblivion to serve as a warning to others! Everything Menimarko did was designed to us against each other. We can't let that happen. Look what we can accomplish when we work together. How uncharacteristically optimistic of you, Titanborn. I may have that embroidered on the pillow. The Divines gave you a nose for a reason, Tharn. So you can keep your mouth shut and still keep breathing. Well played, Titanborn. Well played. It is done. The Amulet of Kings is ours once again. And Manamarco is defeated. Manamarco will pay dearly for the rest of eternity. One cannot out-scheme the God of Schemes without paying a heavy price. I cannot imagine the torment that awaits him. What do we do now? Sai Sahan must rest, as must we all. We can sleep a little easier knowing the King of Worms has been defeated, but we cannot rest too long. Molog Bal is still a great threat, and the plane melt must be stopped, or this will all be for naught. So? I have not forgotten, Vestige. It is another piece of the puzzle, and we shall address it in due time. But for now, let us rest and recover. As always, I will contact you soon. Walk in the light, Vestige. The Amulet of Kings is... Assemble once more. Travel to the harboring. It is time for our final preparation.
Welcome back, Vestige. News of Manamarco's demise spreads far and wide. Like worms, his followers burrow deep into the earth to escape the searing light of the coming dawn. Why have you summoned me, Baron? As ever, straight to the point. You've done the impossible. The King of Worms has been consumed by the wrath of Molog Bal. The power of his worm cult is broken forever. But Molog Bal is still a threat, and I haven't found my soul. That is the grim truth of the matter. But the Amulet of Kings is in our possession. And there is still much to do. How can we be sure that Man Marco is truly gone? In my sleep, I hear his tormented screams, and Molog Bal forces visions of his eternal torture into my mind. I can show you exactly what I see, if you wish it. Visions. Behold the fate of the King of Worms. Please, no more! It was a misunderstanding, Great One! Let me serve you! Let me prove my loyalty! No more, I beg of you! <laughs> Manamarco's torment will be endless. The God of Schemes will use him to set an example. All who follow him will know you cannot hope to betray the greatest of betrayers. I cannot help but pity him, despite all he has done. But this is not why you were called here, Vestige. Come, Sizahar will speak with you first. The greatest of the sword saints, Divad, tells us that destiny is a chain, forged one link at a time. Our chain is nearly complete. There is but one link remaining. And what is this link? It is you, my friend. You are the link. I will not bore you with effusive praise, but state it plainly. You are a great warrior and a trusted friend. And we would like to extend you an offer. What offer? When Emperor Varen first brought the five companions together, he did so in the hope of creating a Tamriel where all men could live freely and safely beneath one banner. Go on. The five companions failed. Betrayed from within by one of our own. The Worm King, Manamarco. All that came after was the result of one man's treachery. Now four of the five are reunited to right that great wrong. But destiny requires a fifth. What are you suggesting? We want you to join us as our fifth member. You were the champion we should have had with us back then. Don't look so grave. This is largely symbolic. But please... Humor an old soldier. I'm honored to jo join you as the last member of the Five Companions. My lord, with your permission. You needn't call me that anymore, Saizahan. We are equal. All those now. years ago, when we fought beneath our lord's banner to free the Empire from the Longhouse Emperors, we did so with a dream of freedom and peace in mind. Not just for the Empire, but for all of Tamriel. Together, we forged a fellowship stronger than any blade. Only to see it shattered upon the rocks of deceit by one of our own. That fellowship is no more. Yet we four have assembled here, united by a single purpose. It is not vengeance that drives us, but truth and loyalty and justice. I, Sai Sahan, steward of the Abbey of Blades, call for the five companions to be reforged this day. By the light of Stendar and the heart of Lorcan, may our blade of fellowship be forged anew. And may the vestige, our mutual friend and ally, become its tip. And we may thrust it straight into the heart of a Daedric prince. Sai Sahan is right. You are the member that we should have had all those years ago. It is as the scrolls foretold. The soulless one will become the brightest of five stars. And they shall guide us to the coming dawn. Oh, please, you melodramatic sots. Fine, fine. If seeing one of your foolish prophecies come true will help to ensure the safety of the Empire, we stand I'll united once it. more. The five companions are reforged, and together we will strike down the God of Schemes. Come here, my friend. I've got a few things I want to say before you go. It's been a long road, hasn't it? My father used to say that if you avoid all of life's abrasions, 
You'll never be polished enough to shine. <laughs> we must be pretty damn shiny by now. He was a wise man, your father. I've been thinking about our adventures and the hardships we've faced together. We're in the last leg of this journey, aren't we? I don't regret any of it, but it occurs to me that we haven't had much of a chance to talk as friends. We may not get another chance. What did you want to talk about? Where do you see yourself going after all of this is over? I mean, assuming we survive, get your soul back, and stop Molog Ball. <laughs> Traveling is a humbling experience. You see firsthand what a small place you occupy in the world. Funny thing is, the farther you go, the harder it is to return. But when you do, if you do, you get to see the place you came from with new eyes. What about you? Me? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'll go back to Skyrim and settle down. Squeeze out a few whelps. Maybe raise sheep or grow cabbages. Are you serious? What? No. Can you imagine it? Lyra's Titanborn, shepherd, farmer, housewife. I need to be out in the wind and wild. And if I ever find my life mate, he'll feel the same way. My turn. What's your one regret about all we've been through? That's of so many people. You never get used to it. My father... He'll die over and over again for the rest of my life. Grief doesn't go away. You just learn to live with it. But I can live my life with his daring and spirit and joy. That way he'll never die. Not really. What about you? Oh, lots of things. Friends lost. Missed opportunities. Failed endeavors. Maybe the best we can hope for is to end up with the right regrets. I do regret not taking the time to get to know the people I fought with. I hope to change that. I'll see it. What else is on your mind? One last thing. You like mead? Sure. I knew I liked you. So, let's toast. To Molag Ball, that ugly skeever. May his privates be infected with brown rot fever. May our course be true and our hearts be brave, as we march into Cold Harbor to spit on his grave. I'll drink to that. Let's not forget the struggles that got us to this point. We're almost home. We just have a bit further to fight. Are you all insane? You do realize what we need to do, right? We have to fight a Daedric Prince. Amulet or no, this is going to mean more death. Vestige, come here. I'll tell you what they're afraid to mention. Getting all chummy with Titanborn? I enjoy the company of clever, well-informed people. You really should try it sometime. So, you felled the great Manimarco. Well played. You've done the Empire a great service. Not why I did it. The farmer doesn't thank the cow when it voids itself on the field, <clears throat> but it still makes the crops grow taller. Is that your way of thanking me? I suppose it is. But that wasn't the reason for this heartwarming reunion. Varen and I have spoken at length since you recovered the amulet, and have determined our final course of action. Molag Baal remains a threat, and Tamriel is still in grave danger. The plane meld has been stopped, isn't that enough? The plane meld has been stopped, but Molag Baal's power over Nern is still prodigious. To restore protection to Nern and reclaim your soul, you must face the God of Schemes himself. Is it even possible to defeat Molag Baal? I know more about the Daedra than any man or Myrrh alive. For good or ill, my family has always kept ties with the forces of Oblivion, and this much I know. One cannot kill a Daedric Prince. But we have the Amulet of Kings. Go on. With the Amulet in our possession, we may be able to wound him, severely, and in the process force him to relinquish every last soul he has stolen, including your own. This is where your condition works to your benefit. How? The ritual we performed with the Amulet of Kings caused the soul burst and damaged the veil between worlds. If the damage is to be repaired, I must attempt the ritual again, this time with you. Won't that just cause another soul burst? Only if we use it here on Nern. But if we were to travel to Cold Harbor, we might be able to harness its power, imbue you with divine agency enough to challenge the Daedric Prince. 
but there is a price. Oh, he says. <clears throat> Calling upon the power of the amulet in this manner will consume someone's soul, utterly. One cannot channel the power of the gods without paying such a price. Unfortunately, you don't have a soul to consume, and I am needed to perform the ritual. Someone has to die. More specifically, one of our three companions. I suspect that's why they're so nauseatingly over-appreciative and fawning. No, that price is too high. Of course it is. The fact of the matter stands, however. One of the five will need to give their life to fuel this attack, when the time comes. So you said before the vestige arrived. And I've already thought it over. I'll do it. Snow Lily, no. You should not need to give your life this way. This is my duty. Penance for my numerous failures. This is my chance to make things right. The scroll said nothing of this moment, and so I am not bound to their dictates. Vestige, I ask that you let me do this one thing. All that has happened was because of my hubris. I shall be the one. Sire, you've done enough. This was Manny Marco's doing, not yours. As the one who will fight the Daedric Prince, the Vestige should decide. I don't see you leaping to volunteer, Tharn. Saving your own backside again. Hard as it may be, Lyris, don't be an idiot. I am the only one who knows the ritual, and we don't have time to teach anyone else. That's enough. It won't be decided here and now. Vestige, come here. I have some final words for you. It appears we have come full circle, Vestige. Does one of you truly have to die? That millions of others may live, yes. Do not be troubled. Any one of us would gladly make such a sacrifice. But first, the plane mail must be stopped. As Thaun has said, there are already plans in motion to infiltrate Cold Harbor. You must be part of them. The chains that anchor us to oblivion draw us ever closer. They must... When the plane mail has been... All right, I'm assuming, oh wait, no. <laughs> now we will make, since I already did Old Harbor. Vestige. The final confrontation with the god of schemes is at hand. The five companions gather at the harp bridge. Meet us there. Someone just put like five dollars in the in the zone chat. It was pretty funny. Look, bro. Your deeds have been nothing short of legendary. With the plane meld at an end, Tamriel may yet endure. Now the time has come to confront Molog Bal and reclaim your soul. What must I do? You must lead the five companions into this final battle. We are all of us prepared to sacrifice our lives to see this through to the end. Our plan is to use the Amulet of Kings to invest you with the power to do battle with the Daedric Prince. What should I expect? No doubt the God of Schemes has rallied his most powerful servants to his side, but his arrogance has already proven to be his undoing. He may not even consider you a threat. We shall endeavor to prove him utterly, catastrophically wrong. I'm ready to get started. Heart's grief, huh?
I'll never... The time is at hand. Stop second-guessing yourself. Stop questioning your resolve. Just stand up and do it. This is it. The beginning of the blasted end. There's no point in pretending this isn't happening, or saying we're not ready. This challenge will not wait. Can you do what is necessary, no matter the cost? There is always a choice. But you don't get to choose what is... Alright, before we do that, I want to... Um... Aw. I don't have a... Yep. <laughs> I was kind of... Let's go. Oh, okay. That goes to the portal of the harbinger. Mm -hmm. mm This must be when the love of God torments those who displease him. Or is your appearance here a part of it? Man, Marco, you're still alive. Uh, I am neither alive nor dead. I am trapped in a couch of ass. I am his plaything, arrogant, presumptuous, egotistical twaddle. A bit of costume jewelry is nothing compared to the master's power. I expect I'll be seeing you soon. My only joy for the rest of eternity will be hearing your tortured screams. So be it. Manimarco. He was a backstabbing hypocrite with delusions of godhood. The fool got precisely what he deserved. Yeah, I'm not. Is here. I'm not releasing Mana Marco. That's a fucking foolish plan. Because last time I freed him, 
I was like, no, wait, wait, why? Why, why would I free from the guy who took my soul? That's... that's stupid. What? Oh. It's really stupid. There. That place should serve us well. Let us assemble and prepare the ritual. What do you suppose this place was? A temple of some kind. The Dark Anchors may have pulled it into Cold Harbor. Perhaps it was created by the Daedra to mock the Divines. What does it matter? We can't wait any longer. We must perform the ritual. Vestige, it is time for you to make your decision. Yes, this will be close enough, I think. Are you prepared? Varen, Sai, and Lyris are willing to give up their lives. No one is more surprised than I. They are willing to sacrifice themselves to save the world, yet they will never hear a single word of thanks. A choose? funny thing for a self. I have no idea. Speak to them. Let their own words convince you. But once the choice is made, there is no turning back. The harvest of a fresh soul will no doubt bring Molag Baal's attention upon us. You must take that opportunity to strike him down. Is there, no other, is there no other way? We've already been over this. The Amulet of Kings is a relic. I'm choosing Baron. Remember Vestige. We fight for our people. We fight for Tamriel. Evil might be kept at bay for a time, but it can never be completely eradicated. What is important is that we resist it, that we fight on and keep fighting. What did the Elder Scrolls say about this moment? Very little. The scrolls can see many things, even possible futures, but they are not infallible, and they will not make this choice for you. You cannot cross the sea simply by standing and considering the water. Be strong, Vestige, and act. <coughs> what if I make the wrong choice? There is no such thing as a safe choice. There are only other choices. Oblivion did not make me a monster. It just confirmed my own worst fears about myself. It would be fitting and honorable if you were to choose me. It would be a fine death. Very well. Position yourself over there, Vestige. And brace yourself. I'll never forget you, sire. Or your sacrifice. Great Akatosh. Dragon God of Time, forgive me for my hubris. Grant your divine power to the Vestige, and restore your protection to Tamriel, that my sacrifice might not be in vain. History may not remember your sacrifice, but those present here will never forget it. Divines of Tamriel, with this vessel of your power, the Amulet of Kings, I call upon your strength. Let this noble sacrifice be a testament to our desire to set things right and restore balance to the Mundus. Your champion stands ready. Accept this offering and imbue this vestige with your glory. Let the will of Molag Baal be denied. Vestige, now is the time. You must ascend the path and face the Daedric Prince. You must face the God of Schemes alone. I will get the others to safety. Go! this foolishness? Has your tiny mortal mind snapped? Do you really think you can defeat me? 
The dark machinations of a living are far more complex than anything your mortal senses can perceive. Pathetic Adric Trinket can't defeat me. I am Mulan Lord of Domination. What is this, infant? Do you think you're toy and slave of God?
Get wrecked, son. Get absolutely fucked. Come forward, Vestige. You are safe for now. Something precious to you has been riven from Stonefire's being. I have brought it here for you to reclaim. I congratulate you, ah! little insect. Your sting is formidable. You have bested me and released a thousand times a thousand souls back into the Mundus. For the moment, your world is spared. But my grand scheme has only begun to unfold. Excellent. Your power shall prove useful in the coming conflicts. You've made a great and terrible enemy this day. Your world would have been better off if the plain meld had succeeded, had you bowed before me and accepted eternal servitude. I would have protected you. There are worse masters than I. Far worse. You are but a phantom here in my domain, Stonefire. The mortal prophecies of the scrolls have been fulfilled. Leave this place and return to your pit. You have a powerful ally. Did you know that she would bring you here? What future role has she to play in this grand cosmic farce, I wonder? Yeah. Your meddling has already cost me too much. A cursed creature of light and flame. This farce no longer amuses me. Your soul is restored. I can see its light within you. And you have saved your world from a great calamity. But know this, mortal. The forces of Oblivion are legion. And the God of Schemes is but a single player in a complex battle for supremacy. What happened to Mol Molev Ball? You have wounded him gravely. It will be some time before his power is restored. Where is the Amulet of Kings? As your enemy fell, the one you call Abner Tharn took Chim El Adabal and fled. He returns to the land from whence he came, the place you call Cyrodiil. Took the amulet with him. The amulet's power has been expended for a generation or more. The Imperial will not be able to use it, nor will he profit from it, though he will spend many frustrated years in the attempt. The tear in the veil between Oblivion and Nern has been repaired. Your world is safe for now. Gone forever. But their memory remains. I can see the light burning brightly behind your eyes. Your friend is a part of you now, just as the strength of the Divines burns like a flame within your renewed soul. What about me? Your story has only begun. Molag Ball still has plans for you. In many ways, these events played out to his advantage. And you have attracted the attention of the other Daedric Princes as well. What must I do? The war between mortal kingdoms is still ravaging your world. But your true enemies are not mortal. If you are to be prepared for the coming conflicts, you must fully comprehend what is at stake. You must live among those you make war upon. The other alliances. Indeed. When you return to Tamriel, go to the place you call the Harborage. My gift awaits you there. It will allow you to travel to other lands and hide your true nature from those who would see you as a foe. Can you send me there? I have no more desire to keep you here than you had to remain in Cold Harbor. I shall return you to your little den in the wild. Your surviving companions await you there. Are you prepared to leave? Yep. happened? 
How did we get here? I, I remember being overwhelmed, but then I... Right, sorry about that. I called in a bit of help to pull you out of there. I do hope I didn't overstep my bounds. Snow Lily, I... I know, Sai. It's over. It's all over. Well then, happy endings all round. Smashing. Who's got the brandy? Wait, where is Tharn? Did he survive? He vanished. Ran off, I think. And he took the amulet you chaps found with him. Honor and faith to you all. You're not going to get all weepy with me, are you? I mean, I've got that stoic reputation to maintain. What now? What now? For you, it seems there's more to do. For us... We've seen too much, my friend. Been through too much. I think it's time for us to go. Maybe someday. It's not as though I'm dropping off the face of Tamriel. And if not, well... I'm sure there's a seat for you in Sovngarde. Sai and I talked about it a few days ago. What would happen if we both survived? I'd like to go back to the Abbey of Blades with him, and help them rebuild. So... This is where our roads diverge. For a time, there was much to rebuild there, and I owe it to Kasura to bring her the news of our victory, personally. Snow Lily and I, well, maybe we shall finally have some time to ourselves. Aren't you going to chase after Ab uh, after Thorn? To what end? No, let him return to his Imperial City. He played his role, and that is enough. Grudges are like poison to the spirit. But perhaps, once the Abbey of Blades has been rebuilt... Yes? I have never been content to remain in one place for too long. It is not my nature. Eventually, I am overcome by the need to endanger myself. Between comfort and adventure, I always choose adventure. Then perhaps we will meet on the road someday. I would like that. It has been a singular honor vestige. Although I suppose that name is no longer appropriate, is it? Varen would be proud of you. I know we are. Oh well, Sai. Don't toddle off just yet. Might I have a word? But before we do that, um, I'm not going to talk to Cadwell just yet. I'm going to end the episode here because um, that'll actually lead me into the other alliances. So I will actually leave the episode there and I will um, I will actually leave because uh yeah that'll actually lead me to the other alliances and everything like that so but yeah anyways i hope you all enjoyed this episode guys we are recording for three hours or what seems like three hours um anyways guys like i said i hope you all enjoyed and if you liked what you saw and enjoyed this little main quest stuff, um, I will be live streaming soon. Um, I don't know when, maybe tomorrow. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I'll, I haven't decided yet. Um, but uh, if, if I do stream, it'll probably be on Twitch. Maybe. It'll probably be on Twitch. Um, um, yeah, so anyways, as always, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye, guys.